From Options, you can customize Tax Cycle to match your preferences and practice. Let's look at some options which would be wise to set prior to creating or carrying forward any files. Preparer and Office details are entered under Organization and are added to the Engagement Worksheet, which then gets used in the Return and Correspondence. Click on Contact and Address to enter the legal name and operating name if applicable. If an operating name is entered, this is the name that will appear in the letterhead for all default correspondence. Enter the name and address for the contact person for your firm. If you are sharing this page with other colleagues and want everyone to use the firm's email address, check Use Default Email Client Sender Address. Click Apply to apply the changes to the open return and click OK to save your changes. From the correspondence page, you can add a logo and signature to the default letters. Click the Browse button to select the files. The images should be saved in a PNG or JPEG format in the template folder on your computer or network. You can resize the image in the template editor as needed. Choose the pronouns you prefer to use in your client correspondence. The preparer information is entered on the preparer page. Complete only the fields that are relevant. Complete the fields under Representative Details if you need to display a different name on the CRA or Revenue Quebec forms such as a T1, T183, the Authorization forms, the T180J, and the TP1R. If you prefer to use your own signature rather than the organization's, browse to find your signature image. If you wish to use a different email address than the one set on the Contact and Address page, clear the Use Organization Contact Details checkbox and enter it here. Authorization is where you enter the information required to complete the authorization forms. This information flows to the Engagement Worksheet and then to the Federal and Provincial Authorization Forms. Your e-file credentials are entered on the e-file accounts page. Make sure to always use the most recent password. If you are filing Quebec returns and your net file number is the same as your e-file number, check the use your e-file number for net file, otherwise enter it in the net file number field. Next transmission number is a counter which combined with the net file number allows transmission to Revenue Quebec. This number increments with each transmission. If you prepare and transmit slips, enter your slips credentials on the slips account page. You can use either the preparer's account number and web access code or the slip issuer's account number and web access code. In both cases, the important thing is that the account number and web access code are related to each other. If you use the issuer's account number and web access code, before making the transmission, you will have to come back in Options and change it for each client. Enter a transmitter number if you have one. Otherwise, a default number will automatically be inserted upon transmission. If you are preparing and transmitting Quebec Relevés, enter the sequential number Revenu Quebec assigned you for each type of RL slips. Slip Transmitter allows you to enter different contact information than what is set in the Preparer page. Uncheck the boxes for the fields you wish to change. Workflow is where you can manage the types of transmission, messages, and associated tasks. The boxes to automatically save the return after transmission and to display transmission confirmation messages are checked by default. If you wish to take control of when the return is saved or do not want to see the confirmation message, uncheck the appropriate boxes. Set the language you wish to record the transmission responses. Select to use the document control number for T183 unless otherwise instructed. Configure the transmission types to meet your needs. If you never use a particular type of transmission, Uncheck the Can Transmit box to turn it off and remove it from the Transmit sidebar and hide any related review messages. Check the selected Group Transmission box to enable a group, a batch, or a family transmission. 
Check the document sign box if you want TaxCycle to request a confirmation before you transmit. Uncheck Show in Search Results to disable filters and searches on the status of the transmission. Research allows you to control the tools menu view. Uncheck the box if you don't want to see it or change the URL address to open to a specific page you frequently need to access. Manage updates from Auto Update. By default, Auto Update is checked. You can control the frequency. Rush checks for an update release each time you launch Tax Cycle. Rush Plus Optional Updates will ensure you receive all updates, even the non-mandatory ones. Moderate, the update will be installed only a few days after being released. And Custom, saves the update file on your server and applies it to all computers in your organization at a time you define.